Invariance. Earlier, we talked about the fact that the receptive fields get bigger as we move up the visual hierarchy. There's another way to think about this, which is to say, there is more spatial invariance in higher visual processing. The idea of invariance is that the firing of a neuron may not care if a stimulus property changes. It may continue to fire at just about the same level. So when we say that the receptive field gets bigger, it is the same thing as saying that the neuron is more invariant to the exact location of the stimulus. In a way, this also roughly means that the spatial resolution gets poorer. A bit like how things would be if the pixels on your computer screen got bigger. But the more common usage of the term invariance concerns other stimulus properties. For example, let's say we present a person's headshot to a subject. We can do this at a profile or a frontal view or something in between. For the neurons in V1, because they mostly care about the orientation of lines or sharp edges within a small region, when you change the viewpoint, the firing is likely going to change as well. That is, with respect to the face stimulus, there is not a lot of viewpoint invariance in V1. But further down in the ventral stream, we know that there are neurons that show more viewpoint invariance for this kind of stimuli. For example, the fusiform face area, otherwise known as FFA, is an area of the brain that helps us with facial recognition. The neurons in FFA are particularly selective for face stimuli. Some of these neurons may not care which of these views of the same person is presented. They'll still fire at about the same level. So those neurons show high viewpoint invariance for faces. This is why you can recognize your mother's face, whether she's face on at 30 degrees or 90 degrees or 60 degrees, instead of thinking that they're all different people. Looking from the bottom of the brain, this is roughly where the FFA is. Up is the front of the head. Overall, as we move up the visual hierarchy, especially in the ventral stream, there is more invariance for all sorts of stuff like size, color, orientation, etc. Which is in part why we say that the higher areas tend to code for more complex stimuli. It's often the identity of the stimuli that matters, not the details like viewpoints or distance.